hello guys welcome back so this is the next question of the you can say contest question right so context uh, 395 this is the second question we have and this question is saying find the integer uh, added to the uh, array second right so we have already seen uh, the find the integer added to array one this is the uh, like three one three three one question so this is this is three one three two question right so uh, we let's understand and uh, what is the difference we we have found uh, in this question so we will discuss so the statement is saying that you are given two integers array num1 num2 from num1 two element have been removed okay and all the other elements have been increased or decreased by an integer represented by the variable x right so as a as a result nums1 become the uh, becomes uh, equal to nums2 so two arrays are considered equal when they contain the same integers with the same frequency and we have to return the minimum possible integer x that archive this equivalence right means uh, you have given two arrays this one and this one okay now what we have it, it is saying that two elements have been removed from this one okay nums two and then like uh, from nums one two elements have been removed once these two elements have been removed now what will happen these nums one and nums two will become equal right so let's suppose 4 and 20 we have removed okay so uh, the rest of elements will become equal to this one right so it is saying that difference we have to find it out right so after removing the elements at indices 0 and 4 so we have what 4 20 16 12 and 8 so this is at index 0 1 2 3 and 4 okay so if i will remove this one and this one so rest of the element become what this three element is in the array now right only these three so let's suppose now index will become what 0 1 and 2 okay so at index 0 we have 20 1 we have 16 and 2 we have 13 uh, uh, 12 right now what we have to do what element we are going to add in num1 or num2 let's suppose right that will become equal to num num2 so obviously because we are operating on the nums1 so what we will do we'll apply the uh, operations on the nums1 and we'll try to make it equal to nums2 right so how we are going to make it right so if we'll do uh, if you observe we have 20 and uh, the latest value <coughs> uh, nearby uh, num2 we have 18 right N nearest element you can see <coughs> so <coughs> if we'll do 20 minus 2 it become 18 S similarly we'll do 16 minus 2 it will become 14 right Similarly, we'll do uh, what is the element 12 minus 2 become 10. So it is matches the values and so it become equals to the value, right? <coughs> okay, so let's uh, understand how we are going to implement this, right? So uh, this was the easy question, right? But uh, we have to implement in such a way that uh, we can easily uh, find the value right so better let's suppose we have two elements we have uh, two uh, numbers we have uh, let's suppose we'll take one five and nine okay so one variable uh, one array we have one five nine and other we have two three and seven okay so these two uh, nums we have so after sorting this nums one and after sorting nums2 let's suppose these two elements will look like this one only okay 159 and 237 so this is already sorted let's suppose okay now what we will do we will call a method let's suppose m1 is a method that will take num1 and comma num2 it will take right so uh, if we'll do one iteration right and we'll try to find the difference right so let's suppose we'll make one iteration at zero right and we'll uh, find the difference right so once you difference you will find the difference here 
what you will find nums at uh, nums at 2 at 0 minus nums at uh, 1 right 0 so the element will become what 2 minus 1 equal to 1 right similarly we'll go for iteration 1 right and we'll try to do the same activity right so once you have completed iteration 1 we'll go for iteration 2 so in iteration 1 the difference again will become what nums at 2 only nums at 2 at 0 minus we'll do nums at 1 right and this is nums 1 okay and we'll have value 2 minus uh, we'll check 3 right so 2 minus uh, now 2 minus here oh in the value 5 we have 5 right so 2 minus 5 is nothing but your minus 3 so you have 1 minus 3 right now then what we will do we have found uh, uh, you can say 3 right or here we have found 1 then what we should do just think right so if we will take a skip count let's suppose we'll initialize with the one uh, skip count okay and we'll take skip count initialize with the zero and we'll take here skip count it will become still zero a skip count here we'll take a one skip count and we'll say no we cannot skip here uh, we, 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 sorry we have to skip here right and for that the skip count become plus plus because the difference is not same now right now what we will do so we will skip this one right now what we will do we will go go with the other element right i equal to 2 now we will check the difference difference will become what uh, uh, 2 minus the last element is 9 right in the first array so you will get what minus 7 now we have to a skip count will increase to what 2 right it have to increase so like that we have to calculate okay so the base case will uh, you can say the loop ends uh, as we can say we have iterated over all the elements of the array and we've reached the maximum iteration right so that we have to check like the loop should end uh, as we have iterated all over the elements right the last element you can say right so the method returns minimum value at that index okay because the last index so the final uh, result that we we have uh, added on the method right now what we will do since escape count is 2 the latest iteration remains as a 1 okay and we will return 1 as its value right whatever the latest count because we have not decreased the count so we have to uh, since skip count now is 2 right we will return the latest value that we have in the result is 1 because all these values are coming what minus 3 minus 7 and latest value is 1 so like that we have to implement actually okay so basically what we are trying to do here we will first sort the array elements right that we have told you right two ele elements we will take uh, ele uh, arrays nums one nums two we ins we will ensure that uh, we are comparing elements in the systematic way which is essential for finding the minimum array elements right that we will add into the integer so uh, after that we will find the minimum added integer that we have done in the uh, uh, you can say last uh, program right so how we how we have done we will start by initializing a result integer or max value we will take and this value will update as we iterate through the elements okay we will iterate over the elements up to three elements let's suppose for the nums if we have here so for each iteration we will calculate the difference uh, which is a smallest element and the current element is one and then we will compare the difference with the all the pair of the elements right and then if you want to do optimization you do 
so let's suppose what i'm trying to do here i'm trying to say here that uh, we will have two arrays right so we will first do sorting okay so by sorting both these uh, nums one nums two we we have uh, we will guarantee that after comparing the elements in the systematic way we will find the minimum added integer efficiently like that we will do then we will find the minimum added integer so how we will find so we will first take integer max value as a result okay so this is the maximum possible value that we will get into into the result so this value will be updated as we iterate through the elements of num1 right so if you will see here right we are updating each time so how we are going to do that we will talk later but was the was thing that we will iterate over the first elements of the you can say a few elements of the now you can say array one right nums one let's suppose up to three elements or the length of the nums whichever is a smaller we'll go and we'll uh, check right so you can see here we are going maximum iteration will take how either three or the length of uh, you can say element right so we don't need to exceed the array length okay so this will make you the base case also okay so actually what i'm trying to do i want to iterate over the few elements of the num zone maximum we will go with the three element or whichever is the smallest that will take the max iteration okay i think you are aware of the math dot mean right or ma integer to max these are the uh, things that we 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 have predefined in the uh, java okay so for each iteration we will calculate the difference how will calculate the difference so nums2 minus nums1 and i will start with the 0 to the max iteration right like that and then we will skip uh, count we'll take a skip count we'll start from the 0 or you can say uh, i okay so the pointer will take a and b a will start from i and we'll take a pointer b that is 0 why will take i will tell you so while pointer b is less than nums dot length nums two dot length and when pointer a is less than length of this one okay so we'll find the current difference so current difference similarly we'll find what uh, b minus a will do nums at uh, two and nums at one so nums at pointer b is already fixed but i will move right so we'll get all the differences and we'll check the difference so current difference is equal to the difference then pointer b will increase otherwise will will skip count will increase right like that we will do means previously that we have the count here right the difference we have got the count right so this count and uh, this count right will check if this current difference is equal to the the difference we will increase the pointer of the b right b pointer will increase means bk index will increase we will indi increase the b index right otherwise we will skip the count and then what we will do will increase a pointer a plus plus right if both will happen so that a and b will move so a the, is the pointer of array, array one and b is the pointer of array b like that will move right index you can say and then we will do what we will skip the count uh, less than equal to two so pointer at index zero of array is uh, pointer a right and index at pointer b is pointer b okay so pointer these we have to update each time so that we will move on the indexes right so that is why we are doing if the difference is equal equal to we will increase in the b uh, pointer will increase to next point next index by plus plus and similarly we will do if it is right if once it is completed we will increase the pointer of a now we have to check if skip count is less than equal to 2 then we will get that result if it is maximum at 2 either less than or equal to 2 we will get the minimum of result and difference 
whatever we have in the data right whatever we will return the data that will be your answer right and this is this is called your result i think you understood the point right so what we will do let's summarize first we will do array sorting then we will find the minimum added integers right so uh, for uh, first what we will do uh, we will initialize the result with the maximum possible value right and then uh, we'll find the minimum uh, minimum maximum iteration by using mean either we'll go with the three till the three index or it will go with the all the indexes which whichever is the smaller one that we will choose right and now for each iteration right what we will do we will calculate the difference between the smallest element of uh, nums2 and the current element of num1 so we will get all this value here right okay then what we will do then we will compare the difference with all these pairs right we will all the pairs will get and uh, all the pair of the element from the both array and we'll see how many pairs we have the same difference if you were or less uh, or equal to two then the pair are skipped and we will update the result as the minimum of the result right and then if you want to optimize then you can do uh, the algorithm uh, will try to opt if you try to optimize the algorithm by limiting the iteration of the maximum three elements will go and that is why it is optimized right and uh, if you go beyond that so you have to change the necessary findings again and again okay so that's all for today and if you have any uh, uh, you can say suggestions right please ping me in the comment box and uh, let's go to understand the another example okay so the space complexity and time complexity will talk about so we are not taking any extra spaces right but we are uh, using only variables so we will have o of one and time complexity will talk about we will we are going with the uh, you can say one for loop is here right so it, it we are going maximum with three count side or which, whichever is the length right and then we are going with the uh, it's array all all array elements right so you can say uh, we can go by three a o of o of n we can take minimum or either we'll do plus o, o of uh, three right like this right so we'll say o of n element the space complexity from here so thank you guys thank you for watching this video and if you have any doubts please uh, uh, please uh, uh, write the comment in the, into the comment box and uh, okay so no 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 i'm uh, i have doubt wait 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 sorry sorry this is the for loop right this is the for loop and this is the uh, while loop right so this is inside this one so we will not calculate like this actually and give me one second let me clean this sorry sorry so uh, first of all right let's understand uh, from one by one so here and here right we have uh, two sortings are array right and in the sorting array we know that uh, it will take what o of uh, time complexity right o of n log n right this is the sorting uh, space uh, sorting right uh, in the array and you will get the time complexity as uh, o log o of n log n right and here you can say the n is your length of the elements right array element so in another uh, place right we are going the iteration with maximum three right outer loop will go maximum three times right or uh, the length of num whichever is the smaller that will take so this loop this loop counts uh, contribute you can say o of uh, O of uh, one time right because we already knows that uh, we will go with either three times or either uh, the nums dot length so if the element is only one the possibility is that we will go with only one iteration right or either we will go with the three iteration right so we can say it will give you time complexity of o one one okay now uh, 
this is because this is constant uh, time complexity right now think uh, from for the inside loop right so inside the outer loop right there is a nested loop for the compare elements from nums1 and nums2 right so this in inside loop uh, you can say is contained by the length of nums1 and nums2 and does not depend on the size of the input array right is it is going with the its own size right so in the worst case scenario think like uh, for this nested loop like uh, when it when when it will uh, come or it will happen like both arrays have equal length right and each element of the nums1 needs to be compared with the each element of uh, nums2 right means each element of 1 needs to compared with the element of 2 right so the result in the maximum of n iterations right where n is the number of or uh, you can say number of element we can say right? uh, length of the array you can say right so if you talk about the time complexity here that we have already told you so of one n will go right because this is nested and the possibility is that uh, the worst case right so both array have the e equal length right and each element needs to compare with the another element of uh, num2 right num1 element want to compare with the n element so n times it is a possibility right so uh, that's all i think here so if you'll do the sum right till that we have got what o of n and n log n right so if you'll do plus so we'll say plus of this one and this one right and this one and this one so we'll get what o of n log n and this is the bigger one right so due to this this is the your time complexity okay so thank you guys let's watch another uh, problem right what is another problem we'll see minimum array and and in, in this pro, uh, next video okay thank you guys thank you for watching this video please let me uh, know if you have any doubts in the comment box